Hey everyone, it's uh, Daniel Rogers checking in live from New York City during the coronavirus COVID-19 situation out there. Uh, first and foremost, you know, wishing everyone a you know, safe, healthy, and happy uh, experience and sort of time right now. And I hope we can, we can all sort of use this to you know, spend time with loved ones and sort of connect with family and, and those people in our lives, which are uh, significant and meaningful um, and, and sort of healing and curative for us all. Uh, due to this sort of containment and the quarantine situation, as well as our mission to sort of continuously bring nature, nature connectedness, and sort of these fun experiences to cities all over the country and hopefully all over the world, uh, we are going to sort of bring them inside right now. We're gonna bring them into our homes and we're gonna bring them out into nature wherever we deem that to be safe right now. And so being in the epicenter of this pandemic in New York City, uh, I wanted to sort of bring you guys a little bit of a bow drill uh, training, a little bit of a bow drill session. Hopefully I can make a fire. Um, I haven't done this in a little while, so I'd say bear with me. But I think we're going to get a coal. Uh, we will not be making an actual fire, uh, more so just creating a coal, being that I'm actually inside an apartment right now and I think that would probably be uh, against the, the city policy. So uh, let's get this started. I'm gonna bring you guys over and sort of show you the, the setup right now and what we're looking at. Uh, hang on, bear, bear with me for one sec. Do, do, do. So I'm gonna turn the, the camera around so you can sort of see what we're working with. Uh, pretty much we have a juniper, uh, mostly juniper set right here. And I'm gonna turn it around right now. So here we have the actual fire board. Uh, that's sort of you know, made of juniper, uh, it's dried wood, it's cut out. Uh, we got our top rock right here. We have our spindle, which is gonna sort of be going right into the, you know, to the, to the hole right there. And then we have our bow drill right here, as well as some dried juniper bark, which we would be using to make a nest um, and ultimately would start the initial fire for us. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to give this a shot right here, guys. I hope I'm able to at least entertain, hopefully make a coal and uh, who knows, hopefully laugh along the way. So I'm going to drop the phone. Let's see if I can get this done. And uh, here we go. All right, so I'm dropping that. So I'm just putting down the fireboard right now. Uh, I am a righty, so I'm gonna be putting my left foot over, really right over the top of the hole that I'm gonna be using to start this coal. Uh, and then I'm gonna take the spindle and I'm sort of going to weave it into the bow and around sort of the, the rope like so, just so it's sort of tight enough to sort of move along uh, with the bow here. And then I'm gonna take my top rock and I'm gonna sort of connect it on top of this setup right here. And then I'm going to ideally put my sort of elbow over my top knee and sort of lean forward and sort of keep my weight uh, directly above the, the fireboard here. And then I'm gonna sort of slowly, with long strokes, start going, uh, you know, start sort of making this coal. So let's see what I got. Uh, let's just warm, warm this wood up with some long, long strokes right now.
hopefully we've got ourselves a coal. Which it looks like we do. So here's a little coal. Show you guys that. I am uh, personally very, very impressed that I just got that. And uh, a little out of breath, and I sort of reflect back on, you know, my time as a client at Legacy trying to make these fires and uh, having a really tough time at times and having a really tough time just emotionally and mentally and trying to push through. And I think for me, what this experience was very helpful in was just demonstrating that I could do things that growing up in New York and sort of living in the city, I never thought I could do, right? And so it sort of helped, helped me realize that, you know, I have skills and I can sort of learn things and that I have a reason to, uh, to do things. And I think plus it's just fun, right? Like I have, I have fun doing this and I have fun sort of pushing through the fear and the challenge of not getting it done and not always getting it done on the first try. So I'm gonna sign off. I, uh, on a personal note, just I'm, I'm wishing everyone a safe, healthy and happy uh, sort of experience right now. I hope everyone's able to sort of spend time with loved ones and to sort of connect with people that are important to them. Uh, I wanna make myself available should anybody want to contact me just to check in and say hi. I personally am, you know, quarantined in New York City in my apartment. And so I'd love, love to check in, love to hear from anyone and, you know, just see how, how we can support one another. Hopefully uh, we can start moving these things back outdoors in the coming months. And for now, I think it's going to be fun to continue exploring different ways in which we can sort of have fun in our apartments and learn different skills and uh, take a little bit of nature and experience and bring it indoors. So give me a call if, you, if you know, for whatever reason. If you have a bow drill set at home, I encourage you to try this. I'd love to see any videos that come back. Uh, I'd love to laugh about it and sort of, you know, just have this experience together. So. Take care, everyone. I uh, appreciate your time and um, stay safe out there. Okay.